Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, th this one from the 2014 sample paper, um, it was question three, is, is probably the hardest um, cubic equation uh, that I've seen on, on the paper, um, probably because it's a bit abstract um, in that it's in terms of K. So a cubic function F is defined for X is an element of R as F of X maps onto X cubed plus one minus K squared X plus K, where K is a constant. Show that minus K is a root of F, okay? Well, the first thing I would write down is if, let me just change color, um, if minus k is a root, then x is equal to minus k, okay? Um, and, and the reason I write that down is so that I sub in the um, minus k for x and not for k the letter. You don't get confused between your letters, okay? So then subbing it in, my x cubed, so I have minus k times cubed plus one minus k squared times minus k plus k. Okay, so a lot of k's. Okay, so that's equal to minus k cubed would be minus k uh, plus one times minus k is minus k again. Um, minus k squared by minus k, well, minus by minus is a plus, and I have k cubed, and then plus the k at the end. Okay, minus k and k cancel, that cancels. So you can see that that's equal to zero. Okay, so therefore, uh, x is equal to minus k is a root of f, okay? Uh, and the easiest conclusion is to give them back their own words. Find in terms of k the other two roots of f, okay? So just like any other um, cubic question, I will write down if x is equal to minus k is a root, then x plus k is a factor, okay? And just like the one we did in, what was that one? Uh, 2015, you can do long division or you can equate the coefficients. Okay, so let's try long division because um, that is how most people do cubics. It's obviously a harder long division here. So I have x plus k on the outside and I am long dividing it into x cubed um, if you look up here, think, think of an x cubed one normally has four terms. It has x cubes, x squareds, x's and the numbers, okay? But in this one, I don't appear to have any x squareds. So sometimes students puts in zero x squareds um, plus one minus k squared x plus k. So it's up to you whether you put this in or not. It, it just might help you align things better when you're multiplying. And then with any other cu cubic, what do I multiply by that X on the outside to bring it up to X cubed? Well, I need another two X's, so an X squared, and I multiply that by everything on the outside. So X squared by X is X cubed. X squared by K is KX squared. Okay, I put a line under it. change the sign, change the sign, cancel, and then zero x squared minus kx squared is minus kx squared. So you can see no great big deal if you didn't put that in, you just have to make sure though that you're not trying to subtract that kx squared from this term because you can't subtract x squared from x's. Okay, and then you take down what you haven't used already, one minus k squared x plus the k. And you do it again. What must I multiply it by x to bring it up to minus k x squared? Well, I definitely need a minus. I need a k and I need an x. Then you multiply it by what's on the outside. So minus k x by x is minus k x squared. 
minus k x by k well minus by plus is a minus k by k is k squared x. Okay, put a line under it. Uh, change the sign. Change the sign. Uh, minus k squared plus k squared or k x squared cancels, and okay. So that top line I have, I'm going to multiply it in for myself. Okay. So one by x is x minus k squared by x plus k. Okay. And then I'm going to take down this line just under it again. So I have what's there plus k squared x. And you can see I'm deliberately putting it under the k squared term that's there already um, so that I can line it up properly. And I can see that the minus k squared plus k squared cancels. I have this x, I need to take it down. I have the plus k, I need to take him down. Okay, and then I do it again. What? Must I multiply by that x on the outside to bring it up to the x there? Well, I need just a plus one. And you multiply that plus one by everything on the outside. So plus one by x is x, plus one by k is plus k. Change the sign, change the sign. Okay, and you can see that I have my solution. Um, so I might add a page the other two roots are contained within uh, x squared minus kx plus one. I'm just going back to read the question again. Find in terms of k the other two roots of x. Okay, so I have to solve this one. It's got a k in it, so it'll be easier to use the minus b formula. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So minus b, so minus minus k plus or minus the square root of b squared, so minus k squared minus 4ac all over uh, 2a. Okay, now you can see what I'm doing here, what I'm trying to do. So for this lesson tonight, we did three other cubic equations that got a little bit more difficult as, as we went along. But what I'm trying to show you here is that if you get a, a, a what I call a kicker of a question, so one that's a little bit more difficult because it's got letters in it, you try and remember your steps and you keep going with them. OK, and even though it looks strange and even though I have K's in it, the steps are still the same. You um, literally keep going just like you would, minus k to want to be squared is k squared, um, minus four all over, all over two. So you can see that I'm not doing anything different really. Um, I, I'm just doing the minus b formula like I would. Now the question says, give your answers in terms of k, which means at some stage I won't be able to go any further. Um, so the other two roots, I can't, the other two roots, are k plus the square root of k squared minus four over two and k minus k squared minus four all over two. And you can put x equals before them if you wish. Uh, but they are the other two roots of f in terms of k. Okay, so that's how you do that part. The last part then said, find the set of values of k for which f has exactly one root. Okay, so one root. So this is where you look at the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. And that tells you the nature of the roots. Okay, and that's for any question. And b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero. In other words, it's a positive number for two real normal roots. It's equal to zero for one real root. And that's sometimes called equal roots. 
and it's less than zero. In other words, it's a negative number for no real roots. And that's also called complex roots. Okay, so that's the theory they're always asking for when they're examining roots. Um, so what was our B squared minus 4AC? Well, it was here, look at it under the square root soon. So K squared minus four. So K squared minus four. Well, we have to find the values of K for which, sorry, this has um, one real root. So it's going to be equal to zero for one real root. Uh, k squared equals four. Um, and then k is equal to plus or minus the square root of four. It's plus or minus two. Okay. Um, so they are the values of k for which f has exactly one root. Okay. When k lies between uh, plus or minus two. Okay, and that was part C of, of that um, quite difficult question. It was a sample paper, um, but yeah, a difficult question. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.